Hey y'all, it is Glam Game Rebecca, and in today's video, we are doing another Steam Reactions. I have a bunch of these pop-ups. I even saved some screenshots the other day and then my computer crashed, so I'm glad that I saved them off. So I'm gonna try and get a bunch of these recorded today. I don't know when they're gonna go up. I didn't think uh, most of these were on sale, at least the ones that I had saved off the other day didn't have a sale. So we're just gonna kind of go through these. This is for Europa, your uh, Univeral, you, nah. Universalis. Fuck, I can't even look. It's English, okay. Um, this is for the fourth version. This is called Winds of Change. This is actually an expansion. I own the game, but I kind of hate it. I kind of prefer the Civilization games, and I'll show you. Let's see where. Okay, so here's my Sid Meier's games up here. So I've got five and six here. I do have Europa. Where? Where is it? Where? Is it on my desktop? Okay, maybe it's not on my desktop. Um, I know I own it, but anyways. Um, so I, this is actually an expansion to it. Um, looks like it's something new that just released um, a couple of days ago, which is probably why it's being advertised to me because it says that it released on May 8th. It says this is content required for the base game. Um, you know, it says on Steam, blah, blah, blah. You can, you know, buy the expansion. This has got 140 mostly positive reviews. Again, this is a Paradox game. I think they were having a publisher sale like last week or the week before. Actually, it kind of says it right here. Paradox Interactive publisher sale up to 80% off. I knew I saw something about it the other day. So it's been a really hectic week for me between doctors and I was literally out of the house every day last week between post-op stuff and lab stuff and work stuff. I did um, some drug testing for a new company. So um, yeah, it uh, looks like stuff where I'm at right now is getting kind of hectic and they're removing a lot of people and um, there's a lot of like dumb stuff going on. So I'd rather have a backup than being left hanging out to dry. So there's that. Anyways, so um, getting into this one, it does look like this is um, $20. It's $19.99. This is, and I've got all the information that I've pulled for, you know, the YouTube description box, but this says it has 600 new missions, 150 new events, and over 20 countries included. I find this game to be really clunky compared to this Admire games because it's like, it kind of just throws you into the game and you don't like, how do I put this? Um, there's not really like instructions, at least with Sid Meier's games, that you have the ability to have like little tutorials and click here and do this. In the Europa games, I found that that wasn't the case. It was very difficult to navigate, trying to figure out stuff, trying to read all this stuff. It wasn't very clear. I had a lot of problems with trying to comprehend it, what the fuck to do in the games. Um, and so I, I might own it, but I don't play it and I don't care for the game just because I found that it was difficult to maneuver. And if you look, I've got 16.1 hours on Victoria. And um, this one here says I've only got 4.9 hours on this Civilization 5. I, I have six, so it doesn't really matter. This is one that I picked up recently. So it's not one that I've owned for a very long time. So let's watch the trailer and see what is up with this one. Because um, again, I, I haven't I haven't played with Experience this. Experience the dawn of a new age. In Europa Universalis for Winds of Change. Universalis. Okay, now I know Lead how to the fucking pronounce it. the pre Americas with new missions and features. Dominate world trade with powerful European merchant republics. Guide the moguls, timurids, and hordes to conquest and supremacy. Adapt. Evolve. Thrive. Discover new features for Central European powers. Rise to dominance as a Middle Eastern minor nation. New features and updates abound with new decisions, government reforms, diplomatic actions, and more. The time has come to embrace the winds of change. See, I had the one mission that I got on and I was like so fucking lost was I maybe it was Victoria that I was in, um, where like you start off 
basically in Queensland and you have a lot of like boating stuff that you have to do and you like go up and down the coastlines and stuff and then of course you have like battles and whatnot on like the map like this and then you send your people from one map to the next but the thing is I never could figure out how to do any of this stuff so this also if you look it's there's a lot of information on the screen you've got each little tab at the top that has like different things like diplomacy um so like you've got your diplomacy stuff here this is like a peace thing you've got your trade goods you've got what's in your storage you've got all these other things and then of course you've got religion and stuff down here and like each one of these things has like this much information and it's a lot to take in I was overwhelmed by the amount of information that was kind of thrown at me and maybe it's you know because I have uh, issues because I'm neurodivergent and I'm ADHD it was like information overload for me and it just I couldn't wrap my head around it and maybe again that's just a me problem but um going through some of these I mean it looks just like the Victoria game that I was playing looks like you know the other Europa games that I've played but again there's like so much freaking information they throw at you and again it was it wasn't that it was too much information. It was too much information and not enough background. Like I had no idea what the fuck to do with any of this shit. Really, I think that's where my issue comes into play is that you've got all of this. Look at all this information. Like you've got all this stuff across the top. You've got all of this stuff in each one. And this one is the government one. And then you've got all these little tabs and every tab is going to have about this much information on it. And it was just kind of overload for me. So, and then this shows you like your troops that are on each region and they do actually kind of look like this. Um, so you can like grab them and click them and then send them to the next map over. You can split the troop movements and stuff like that. But again, look at this, look at this detailed panel on the right hand side. Like that is literally all the shit that it tells you. And you're like, what? And it's, it's just really overwhelming. Um, so I, I think, I don't know if they've gotten better with the tutorials and stuff because I, again, I felt so overwhelmed by it, but, um, I don't know, it's just one of those things. Enjoy your retirement EU4. I don't know what the hell that means. Despite it costing five more euros than King of Kings, it offered much more in terms of flavor for nations. Finally, or like likely the final DLC for this game. I've been playing it for 13 years. Cheers. Leaving a great review so that the map feedback on EU5 can start ASAP as the game gets made faster. 10 out of 10. Dentist recommend this DLC. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, so I just want to see... Um, All right, let me click see all on here. It should tell me what games I own. So I do own the main game. I don't think I own like a lot of the packs for it. Yeah, it doesn't look like I own anything but the base game. And then this is the base game here, which came out in August of 2013. So this one says I have 0.2 hours on record. That tells you how difficult it was for me to navigate this stuff. Just because, again, it was I was so fucking lost. Like, you've got all these little arrows and stuff, and it doesn't tell you what the arrows are. Doesn't I mean, I'm guessing that's, like, current patterns. I mean, that's what I would assume if I'm, like, on an actual, like, boat or a ship. That that's what I would expect those little arrows to mean. But, like, the game doesn't explain that. It doesn't tell you what the fuck any of this means. It doesn't show, like, what these are, which I'm guessing those may be trade routes. And I was just confused. I really was. I had no idea what I was doing. And going through all of these different things, I was like, what? What do I do here? And then, like, you try and click the FAQ stuff on it and try and go through it. And I was even more lost. So, um... I mean, if this is your, if this is, this is your speed, um, this is the newest expansion. And as some people are saying that, um, it may be the last one for this game because the game did come out like 11 years ago. So 
Uh, leave your thoughts down below. Do you own Europa? Do you like these strategy or simulation games that are based on historical stuff? Do you like playing them? I really do kind of prefer the civilization games over uh, the Europa games. Um, so there's, there's that. And I don't even know if Sid Meier's has come out with any more games than what they've already got, because I think I have the latest game that they put out and I, I've played a lot of it, um, for the civilization games. So, um, anyways, I will see you in the next video. Leave your thoughts down below. Is this something that you'd be interested in? Um, have you played this before? Did you play the original game? If so, did you find it difficult to kind of like parse out all the information they kind of throw at you or did you understand it a whole lot better than me because like I used to play Risk back in the day like in the 90s I played Risk and the computer game version I mean I've played the board game version too but um you know and I thought it would be similar to that it it was not it was not it wasn't like the computer game version it wasn't even like the new Risk version so I was I was lost so anyways leave your thoughts down below and I will see you later bye